Cats, it is PK here, and I've gotten a request to do a Lord Skills video. I have kind of been avoiding doing this in the past just because I was maxed on my Lord Skills on both my main two accounts. And it's kind of hard to tell you guys what's most important to fill up when I can already have it all filled in and multiples of it with points left over. So it was better able to do on this account. I have Lord Skill. 84, and I was able to get that by scrimping and saving and squeezing as much XP as I could, um, whether it was using gold through my store or even <laughs> cheating and having my main buy some of it um, for myself as a gift, as well as the various monster events that have been dropping or chests that drop the Lord XP. What's also important with this is making sure that you have your 25% Lord XP boost running. That is going to give you an additional 25%, not only to the XP that you get in the game through building and research, but through loading the XP in yourself as well. You can get that by coming into your Alliance shop, and if your shop doesn't have it, go ahead and ask your R4 to load it in there for you, and I am sure they will oblige it's inexpensive and just absolutely essential if you don't have your XP maxed. So when we come into my Lord skills, we have eight presets and you can name them by clicking on this little parchment paper. If you want to dual them up and double name them, you will not be able to when you use a space, but you can use an underscore and it will allow you to then do so if you wanted to. I'll fix that later. I have been able to double some of mine up, like my research. Once I was able to get in somewhere like the late 70s, I was able to get all the way to the back. And this is the theme for all these preset Lord skills. Is you want to go all the way to the back and fill up the most important boost. Whoops fill up the most important boost that you can and then work your way backwards because all the best boosts that have the highest buffs are going to be all the way in the back. So I filled up this research speed three, then I came down here and filled up the research speed two and then one. I chose to do research over build because that is what I was putting the most speeds into. So you may want to do a separate Lord skill for each if it's necessary for you. But for me, I ran out of presets, so I chose to do research. Uh, once I got to the mid 80s, I'm now filling in the construction boost as well. So I've been able to double up on here. So I filled in the construction speed three. And then right now, I believe my construction speed two is only partially filled in. And then I'll finish it with a one um, somewhere before I hit Lord Skill 90. My second one is for hitting strongholds. Uh, when I'm auto hunting, mainly in Blood Moon, I just set it and forget it. So what was important for me on this one was hitting up my cavalry attack all the way at the end, as well as my troop march speed and my deployment size. So I came all the way back here and got that 180% cav attack three and then worked for a deployment size. For the third one, I have my max march. I started with all my deployable troop sizes, going three, then two, then one. Once I fill those in, I then moved on to rally size, so that when I'm doing rifts and things like that, and other players may be adding to my rallies, I can accommodate more people. And you can go back and forth if you want to have one attack, uh, like mainly attack, and your debuffs. 
Lord skill, you can set your troop attack with your march, max march, and then flip over to your attack lord skill, if that's something you like to do, or need to do, depending on how your lord skills are, how high you are. Gather is my next one. This is one that I am still working on. What was most important to me was my troop training or my troop capacity so that when I use my quarry invader, I can get the most resources as possible for my alliance mine. So I came back here and did the troop capacity three, then two, then one. Then I used my additional points for these gathering speed threes. This allowed me to use 25 points and get a 90% bonus rather than coming down here and using 20 points and only getting a 50. As I get higher Lord skills, I will then continue to fill these up for starting with the silver gathering speed three and then coming down here to speed twos and then eventually down to speed one. Hunt, I am also still working on. Shoot March speed max AP, AP regen, hunt march speed two, monster attack and hero attack, all really important to me. I come down here and get the additional hero attack as well as the additional um, hunt march speed and the first additional damage to raid. Now I've just made it up to the second set right here for that second additional damage to raid too. So a few more levels and I'll be able to fill this one up. But I didn't really want to detract from anything that I had in the beginning since I'm not really doing a lot of raid. I only have one hero set up for it, personally. Uh, so all this extra, the hero attack one and two and hunt march speeds just are a little bit more useful for me. I then have troopers, and this is for mainly healing and training troops. The troop training capacity was huge. The troop training cost reduction, as well as the healing cost reduction. Healing speeds. And then from there, it's just primarily the healing or troop training capacity and troop training speed reductions. I then have my defense. Fix that now. I wanted to come all the way to the back. And I will likely change this shortly because uh, as I was looking at it, I was realizing that um, I just went up a few more Lord skills and had filled up over to the enemy archer basic leverage attack. But that's going to be more important defensively a single type than having a full infantry attack. So um, when I can go up probably one more level so that I'll have enough points. I'll reset all of this and fill up the enemy archer basic leverage attack decrease two first. That'll give a 40% deduction to base leverage of archers attack, which I am really susceptible to. There's also a second one, which will give another 10%. That's earlier up in the tree here. That'll need some points too. After that, I just fill in the cav attack and then troop HP, or I'm sorry, infantry attack. And then troop HP increase. I just, I need more skill points for that. But that'll be where my focuses are next. Uh, when I was being hit, I have a 250 that hits me for testing. And I just wasn't killing enough in preemptive phase. So getting that infantry attack was a little more important to me than doing the troop HP or infantry HP first. Then in a regular attack, if I had more preset skills, I would 
Like, if there was maybe 12, I would have an infantry-specific attack, archer-specific attack, cav-specific attack, uh, but I don't. So, because people I attack are mostly infantry-based, like myself, I set it up for archer. And so I've come all the way to the back. I hit that archer attack three, that 180%. And then I started filling in the troop deployment sizes and infantry HP debuffs because I am lazy and I do not like to flip back and forth between Lord skills for attack and max deployment size. So that is it for my Lord skills. Again, you want to work all the way to the back and then work your way backwards with what points that you have and what's going to be more useful for you. I do want to say a big, big thank you. I, uh, I was having a day the other day. I've had a really rough two weeks. My father is very ill and um, I've had multiple issues with him uh, throughout the two years that I've played the game. Anybody that has been in leadership with me has known certain events where I'm like uh, my dad's in the hospital or I'm on my way to the ER and unfortunately about two weeks ago he got really sick and um, the ambulance is called out and he's just he's not in a very good way uh, for those that are nurses or are curious he had a double pulmonary embolism in both sides of his lungs a large fast-growing mass that they do believe is cancerous uh, but he is refusing biopsy and um, he had pneumonia and a stroke and left him extremely weak he couldn't move himself he's still in the hospital uh, they're working on rehab I had a long day where I didn't respond to someone who had written me a question. Uh, Outlaw, you were very patient and amazing for me. And I kind of did an emotional dump on him when I did respond to my messages. I said, I'm so sorry. I've been at the hospital and all this information that he probably did not need to hear. And um, today he just floored me when he sent me this picture. I had another friend, VJ, reach out to me and said that these players are kind of putting this together as prayers for, for Kat. Um, it's been a hard week with my birthday tomorrow without my dad. And uh, we're working on end of life things. Anyhow, long story short, I didn't want to go through this without um, acknowledging the kindness that all these players have and it's not you know it's the, the players as you can see there's one players in there who are um competition for av and none of that matters we all have compassionate for one another and it just really touched my heart and i want to say thank you <laughs> thank you guys very much so anyhow that concludes my video for today uh visit us at www.ironthroneelite.com if you guys want to see more videos just let me know like comment subscribe and until next time <laughs>